Welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Thursday, October 27th, 2016, and we're very excited to have with us Bellows. Take it away. If you look at her once, you will know completely. She is the way that you found she be. Something like clarity that I seek out to look in the Audio Tree Live with Bellows. Whenever y'all feel ready to roll into that one, next one you're good to go.
You're watching Audio Tree Live with Bellows. Sounding great in here, guys. Thanks. Like it, like it, like it. So I know you're in like uh, different projects together. And being on the road, like in and out all the time, like together like this, what do you guys do to keep from going insane and sick of each other? Do you like to play games, anything like occupy yourself somehow? Like how does this work? Yeah, we're huge uh, board game enthusiasts. Okay. Um, for my, like, since when you become an adult, Obviously, you don't have birthday parties anymore, yeah. which is kind of sad. So a lot of the time around my birthday, I'm like, oh, it's like weird. Like, we never celebrate this because yeah. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. But last year, everyone threw me a surprise party, and, like, everybody got, like, a board game. That's cool. Like, Settlers of Catan, Pandemic, that sort of thing. Um, and uh, we've just been sort of going through them, like, playing them obsessively for, like, a month and then uh, never wanting to play them again. Yeah, get sick of it um, running out. <laughs> yeah, so... Do you bring those on the road with you when you're touring sometimes, too, or, like... Yeah, we just got a travel pack of okay. uh, Settlers of Catan. We haven't busted it open yet, but mm -hmm. we have that. And everyone else in the band is playing Hearthstone, except okay. me. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's, what's that? I'm not too familiar. It's like a card game. Is it? Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, I believe it originated with World of Warcraft... Oh, um, it I was see, like a game for World of Warcraft uh, players to uh, to play within, oh, within World of the, Warcraft. Oh, a game within then, the game? Some yeah, inception going on? Okay, I see. And now you guys took it out? Yeah, it's like its own <laughs> app now. Okay, cool. So it's cool. not just That's for cool. Warcraft players. It's nice. its own thing. Well, yeah, another thing I, was I wanted to mention about, like, about being together all the time is how does that affect the writing process, too, for each of the projects or even for this one? Does it make it easier since you guys know each other so well or does it make it more difficult because you're always all in different spaces all the time. I think all of us have really solitary recording processes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I mostly make Bellows albums alone, and then sort of like in the very last stage, I'll bring it to like Felix, and we'll hook up some drum mics and put some real drums on the record, and okay. Gabby will do, you know, like vocal harmonies and strings and stuff, mm -hmm. and Henry will do vocals and stuff. Cool. And uh, yeah, but that's kind of like the last step, I think, for all of our records. Yeah. But they're, they're mostly kind of solo endeavors. That's great. It's awesome. Well, I would love to hear another song if you guys want to know the next cool. one. Staying out your car window I feel my size Huts and palms The cat's
With bellows. You guys ready to head into the next one right away? Or? Sure. Cool. Take it away. album art for the new record i want to know did you do that yourself or did you have someone else do that or? no yeah that's my illustration that's awesome what, what was like the, the theme of the idea behind it like as far it looks like some sort of like a mountain ski range type thing or was it yeah it's all about a small detail in the bottom left where there's okay. these two figures kind of splayed out trying to find oh. shade under a palm tree um and it was just meant to be this huge kind of uh bewildering like cataclysmic sort of um tectonic shift mountainscape that uh is sort of threatening to these figures that are looking okay. for kind of comfort and gentleness mm -hmm. in this totally unforgiving 
place. That's awesome. Did you did you do that before you wrote the music or after? Does no, that work? yeah, I did it after. I, I okay. was kind of like struggling with trying to figure out an idea for mm -hmm. the uh, album cover because the lyrics are sort of like so specific, and I didn't want the um, cover to be like an overt uh, representation of yeah. the songs. So it's kind of it's more of like an emotional uh, sort of um, tying to, of the music and. Uh, visual elements. It's perfect. Well, it played out really well. Like, you can kind of get the vibe of, like, looking of what you're going to hear, and from hearing, you can get the visual also. So I think it, like, matches hand-in-hand hand pretty well, so I enjoy it. Sick. And I was going to also ask about the dog in your photo. Is that your dog? Yeah, that's my dog, Frankie. Gabby and I have a dog. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because I see him, like, pop up here and there on, like, your social media and stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. Do you have a shirt with him on it? Is yeah, there's an Eskimo shirt. That's his Oh, face. okay, an Eskimo shirt. That's what it is. Yeah, okay, that's super like a, rad. Almost like a president on a dollar bill, except it's a dog. Oh, that's perfect. It's a bust. <laughs> That's great. Well, you guys can run on that next one whenever you're ready, then. I'm just going to set this. Can
Audio Tree Live with Bellows. We were talking earlier about solo, like doing your solo projects, and I was wondering if we could go around and see what everyone's first instrument was, and like when they started or what it was. Maybe we could start with Henry over here if you want. Um, I took clarinet lessons when I was pretty young, and then bass guitar, and then guitar. Awesome. Do you still play clarinet at all? Or just... No, I don't know how to play clarinet at all. <laughs> yeah, I just started that way and yeah. gradually. Yeah. Cool. What about you, Felix? Oh, you might have to pull that up there, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I took piano lessons. Um, after that, I took guitar and then drums. Cool. So you guys have some background and in, in some musical stuff, and that's good. I, I like the way your kit's set up, by the way. It's very unique with the with the hi-hat kind of forward there, then the cymbal off the side. It's pretty cool. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you, Gabby? Uh, my first instrument was violin. Oh, cool. Uh, I started when I was seven. Nice. So you were taking lessons also, like when you were younger? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. We're all classically trained. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Do you still play at all as well? Or? Um, only violin. for recording. Okay, cool. Not Gabby plays a lot of violin on our albums. Yeah. That's awesome. Really cool. And what about you? I sort of like had a similar situation with piano where mm -hmm. I, f like, I found the individual note thing um, like really forbidding. Yeah. Like I wanted to just like go straight to playing songs. So guitar was kind of like better for that because I was just immediately learning like oh, yeah. Green Day songs and like yeah. all my favorite bands when I was eleven. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I don't know, making something identifiable as a song instead of mm -hmm. just like bum 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 was awesome. like really key to me like mm -hmm. enjoying music rather than just like doing it as a chore. Yeah. And do you think that obviously probably still shows through today in what you play and how you write as far as like just mostly guitar based? Do you think? Yeah, I feel like my songwriting is pretty like utilitarian like that's cool. <laughs> like yeah. very based on sort of accessibility and that's great being yeah. inviting yeah. well if it works it works it sounds great so cool yeah. thanks you guys, can <laughs> you guys can roll on the next one whenever you're ready Because you used to live in Chicago, right? Was it all of you that did? Uh, or just a few? Felix. 
Okay, cool. And then what is like the difference between there and New York as far as living? Like I visited New York, but living there, I could only imagine, especially like in Brooklyn, right, is where you guys are at. Yeah, yeah. How does it like differ from here? Yeah, we had a super cheap apartment in Chicago, but yeah. we kind of screwed up because we didn't know the geography at all mm -hmm. moving here. So we came just like looking for sublets and month to month yeah. rent and we found one in Hyde Park. Okay. Um, that was like three hundred dollars each. Oh yeah. Um, which was bad. awesome, but mm -hmm. like all our friends were in like Logan Square and Wicker mm -hmm. Park, and it ended up just being this totally like not workable situation. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, drive as, up there like musically and day. like playing shows and that type of thing. As yeah, well, it was kind of hard to meet people. Mm -hmm. We were just like kind of disconnected from what was happening here, which mm -hmm. was definitely our bad. Yeah, um, yeah. But New York is where I'm from, so oh, I just okay. have That's kind of like an automatic. Um, Safety net there. And, yeah, that's uh, great. Just a lot of friends. And it, it, like going to some of the shows in Chicago compared to going in New York, how would you say they differ as, as far as the maybe the people, the venues, or even like location wise? Well, when we lived here, our shows were horrible because <laughs> no one knew the band. <laughs> we only played but now two when, shows. <laughs> oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, we like right. got, played at the Empty Bottle. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Just like a house show. Okay, cool. Um, but lately, I prefer them a lot to New York shows. People yeah. are a lot more enthusiastic mm -hmm. and warm um, and uh, a lot more willing to just sort of like uh, be receptive to bands that they haven't heard. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of times we're a support band, so yeah. people don't come knowing us and uh, mm -hmm. people in Chicago are just really kind of warm and cool to us. So yeah, ready like to listen. Yeah, that's great. And then is the Brooklyn scene right now, because I, I know I hear good things about it, like it's kind of like happening with a lot of bands coming out of there that are really good and like exploding the sound and all these cool labels that are kind of in the area and do you guys kind of find yourself involved in that are you kind of like doing your own type of thing are you guys kind of have a bunch of friends bands in that scene as well or? yeah yeah we definitely know a lot of people sort of cool. in that world um our label double double whammy cool. um is uh, sort of really involved in uh putting out like smaller but really really special bands in the new york area um so it's cool to be involved with them. That's awesome. Um, yeah, they're there's a lot they're of stuff from happening. Boston as well, or New York, or, and I'm sorry, uh, Brooklyn as well. Double Double Whammy is from New York. Cool. I th Mike, the guy who runs it, I think is from Connecticut. Oh, okay, awesome. Not actually sure. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to check that out though. That sounds pretty interesting. So yeah, you guys can roll on that last one whenever you're ready. Cool. I saw you in black and white film, naked against the wallpaper. I could not unsee that shot, and I would like to see you tonight. There is spring, summer.
Live with Bellows. Thank you so much for coming in. It's been sounding awesome. It's Thanks so time. much for having us. No problem, no problem. You can check out the new album. It is out now, uh, Fist and Palm, so make sure you pick that up. Also, they're on tour with Power Bottom, so make sure you go out and see them live. Um, I also want to thank the lighting and camera crew, the audio engineers, everyone at Audio Tree who kind of helps make this happen. We really appreciate that. And if you want to help support them, us, and the band, feel free to check out the session and download it when it comes out in a few weeks. Until then, we'll see you guys next time.